Hey everyone, it's Tori, and today's video is going to be my current empties. Um, I was going to call it, well, I wanted to do an April empties. Before that, I wanted to do a March empties, but none of the above really worked out because it's just been super crazy. Um, as you can see behind me, it is quite messy. Why, yes, this is a bike. This is a bike. There's a lot going on here. We are currently in the process of packing and moving. Um, so we will be in a new house uh, this coming Saturday, which is absolutely insane um, to think that everything needs to be packed and moved in by then. So I'm a little stressed out. Part of the packing and moving process for me is getting rid of things that I don't need, and part of that are my empties. So I have my big tub of empties here ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to try to go through this fairly quickly because um, there's a lot of stuff. Again, if you hear heavy breathing or snorting, that is my pug. He's running around breathing and snorting, per use. Um, if I look sweaty, it's because I am. This is not just a dewy makeup look, it's, um, it's, it's sweat. So it is really hot here today and I film with the natural light, so all of the blinds are open and it's like extra hot. My lips look crusty, it's because they are. I've worked all day. The first thing I have here is a body wash and this is by the brand Philosophy. It is vanilla bean nutmeg. It smells exactly the way you think it would. It smells like vanilla and nutmeg plus soap. I feel like the Philosophy body washes to me always smell extra soapy. Um, so because of that I usually avoid buying the larger sizes of them. I really like them, um, but they're not my favorite. But they're just very soapy. But this smell pretty good. I have another body wash. This is very crinkled up because I tried really hard to get this last bit out and just kind of gave up. Um, this is by the brand Lush and this is Snow Fairy. It smells exactly like pink bubble gum. There's some sparkles in it except they all kind of clump together and I couldn't get them to mix back in with their friends. It comes out during the holiday season. Um, I like it. It's probably not my favorite only because I prefer more vanilla fragrance fragrances and this is um, very much bubble gum, but it's very pretty. Next I have another Lush product and this is the Breath of Fresh Air Toner and it comes with a pump on it and it says spritz on this blend of cooling aloe vera, soothing rose and clarifying herbs for smooth balanced skin. Um, smells kind of like roses, it's very refreshing. Um, I would use this in the morning, I'd spray it on a cotton pad and then wipe my face with it, um, kind of in lieu of washing my face, and I really liked it. Or I'd spray it on my face and uh, my like chest and neck area, my decolletage, um, <laughs> to, I don't know, to freshen up or to just use it as a toner. I really like it. I would repurchase it. This is probably my second or third bottle of it, so I would definitely get this again. Next I have a body cream. This is from... Bath and Body Works, of course. This is Lavender and Spring Apricot, and I believe I showed the body wash version of this in an empties video before, but I'm just now finishing up the body cream. It smelled really good, very fresh and springy and floral and fruity, and I liked it. It was kind of, um, I think I got it at semi-annual sale like maybe a year ago, um, so I don't know if this is still around, but I really like it. Next thing I have here is another Bath and Body Works product that is a little old so don't judge me this is the vanilla be noel sparkling snowflake scrub and it's so old that it used to be white and now it is kind of yellow um, but it was really pretty when I bought it uh, it's a it's a body scrub and has the granules in it and it has little little flecks of glitter and sparkle which is fun for the holiday season so um, I really like this I love the fragrance vanilla be noel it smells um, not my favorite vanilla fragrance but it's a vanilla that I like. It has a little more of like a caramel undertone, um, but I liked it. I would like it. I, I do like it. I would repurchase it. Next I have a hand cream from Bath and Body Works as well. This is in the fragrance Pumpkin Cupcake, and I think I got this two years ago. Two falls ago? I love fall fragrances, and Pumpkin Cupcake is one of my all-time favorites. It smells like a freshly baked cinnamon vanilla cupcake smells great and I love their hand creams. It's probably one of my favorite hand cream formulas that I've found. Speaking of hand cream, this is another one and this is the same thing just repackaged. It's from Bath and Body Works and it's um, in the fragrance Pumpkin Cupcake and um, it's really pretty. It's just they repackaged it to where it has this little twist thing at the top and I really don't like it. Um, I prefer the little flip cap because it's just so much easier to apply but 
I mean, it still smells good. So I think the formula is the same. I really can't tell. But, um, I mean, I still love the fragrance, and I'd probably repurchase it just to use the fragrance. But this isn't my favorite method of application. Next, I have another body butter. This is the Righteous Butter Travel Size from Soap and Glory. Um, honestly, I don't know how to describe this fragrance. I, I don't. It's fresh and kind of fruity. It's like nothing I've really ever smelled before. Um, I would definitely recommend it though. This is a great product. I would buy the full size. I would. I would buy the full size. Very hydrating. Um, doesn't leave a weird residue feel on your skin. Um, I really like it. I would buy the full size if I didn't have, you know, three other body creams to go through. You know, this is a great body butter. Next up I have a can of hairspray. This is the Garnier Fruity Style Sleek and Shine Hairspray 24 Hour Hold. Um, number four, Ultra Stronghold, so it's one through five. Um, I love this hairspray. It says it's good for humidity. I mean, eh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's good for the price. Um, I've repurchased this several, several times. This is one of my favorite hairsprays. I just, I can't bring myself to use a high-end hairspray. It just doesn't, I just feel like I don't need that. Maybe one day. But this is good enough for me right now. So, I really like this hairspray. It, it works well enough um, for what I use it for. I usually use it just to hold, like, loose curls, which I don't do that often. And then just for flyaways, because um, I usually wear my hair straight. So, that's pretty much all it does. <laughs> Next, I have a makeup remover. This is the Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover by Neutrogena. I have repurchased this countless times throughout my life. Um, gets off all your makeup. It's effective and gentle, and it really is. Removes even waterproof mascara, no oily residue. I wouldn't agree with that. It has a little bit of a residue. I feel like whenever I use it, I usually have to go in with like a towel or something and kind of dab my eye area. So I feel like it does leave an oily residue, but it's not that bad. So I would repurchase this. Um, I think CVS makes like, and Target, and or Target, make like an exact dupe, I would say, of this. I literally think I read the ingredients and they were exactly the same. So, um, I go back and forth between the Neutrogena version and the CVS and or Target version. They're both perfectly fine. Next, I have more makeup remover. This is Yes to Cucumber Soothing Hyper Allogenic Facial Wipes. I have one of these in pretty much every empties video ever. Yeah, ever. I love these. These are my favorite. That's that. They get off all my makeup. They don't irritate my skin. And they have the plastic door, so they stay moist. Next, I have some hand soaps. Let's do both of them. So, two hand soaps. There's dog hair on everything. Story of my life. Um, this one is Sparkling Mint Blossom, and this one is the Winter White Woods. They're both the foaming formula from Bath and Body Works, and they're both from their winter collection this past year. Um, the Sparkling Mint Blossom is Glacier Mint, Fresh Eucalyptus, Ice Lily, basically kind of a sweet mint. A sweet mint. And white, Winter White Woods was White Birch, Balsam Fir, Snowy Marshmallow. It had a little more of a manly feel to it. So um, I liked both of these. I actually still have maybe one of each to go through. Not my favorite, but like I liked them. Next I have a body wash. Let's do all these body washes, shall we? Very clean over here. All right, these are all from Bath & Body Works, surprise. The first one is from the Aromatherapy line, and this is in the fragrance called Focus. It used to be called Eucalyptus Tea. Um, oh, it still says it on there, Eucalyptus Tea. Smells like eucalyptus and tea, I guess. I don't know, I've never really smelled anything like it before, but bless you, do you hear my dog sneeze? That was so cute. I've never really smelled anything like it before. Um, this is one of my favorites though. I think it's a very unisex friendly scent. It smells, this sounds weird. It smells really good on me, but it also smells really good on men. I really like it. <laughs> then I have Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is in the Christmas holiday packaging from a few years ago. So pretty. They just repackaged a bunch of old fragrances and I fell for it, and this is one of them. Um, I like warm vanilla sugar, but it's not my favorite. But um, smelled good enough to buy for the packaging. The next one is probably, I think, my top three favorite fragrance from Bath and Body Works. Like slowly, I'm like kind of like 
I like, yeah, this is top three. Um, this is called A Thousand Wishes, and they launched this a few years ago. Won a bunch of, like, consumer awards, and I don't know. It's got pink Prosecco sparkling, word I can't pronounce, crystal peonies, gilded amber, and amaretto creme. So it's kind of warm. It's very perfumey. Um, so if you don't like perfumey, like, very feminine fragrances, this is not going to be for you. But um, I really enjoy this fragrance, and... I have the body spray and the lotion and all that. I really like it. So I'll definitely repurchase that. Next, I have a dry shampoo, of course. This is the Batiste Floral and Flirty Blush Fragrance Dry Shampoo. Um, this is my favorite dry shampoo so far that I've ever used. I constantly go through cans of these, just constant. It leaves a bit of a white residue, but it's fine because my hair is blonde, so that kind of works out uh, for me, especially in between highlights. Uh, <laughs> But um, I really like this. It does the job and it smells good. Next, I have a skincare item. This is the Josie, whoa, yes. The Josie Maron, Maron, 100% pure argan oil. And it comes with a little dropper. This is actually the smaller size. I think they have a large size and this is like a travel size. Um, I really liked this, surprisingly. I'm not. I was never really into like the whole like beauty oil craze thing that happened um, maybe still happening but I like them now um, I use one currently in my skincare routine at night and I stayed away from them for a long time because I have like more oily skin and um, I was kind of scared to use them but I was like well I don't know I read all the stuff like it's very counterintuitive if your skin's producing oil, more oil it needs oil so give it oil I'm like uh, I don't know. So I tried it. Really like it. Um, I actually added this to foundation a couple times, which I never thought I would do, um, like during the winter, and I really liked it. And um, it's nice. It's definitely really heavy. Not really heavy, but it's it's, it's a pretty heavy oil. Um, but if you're looking for something really hydrating, this is this is great. I mix it in with my moisturizer. Was kind of the main way that I would use it at night. So I use a couple drops in with my moisturizer and put it on my face, neck chest and then on my hands and I really liked it. it helped a lot with my cuticles too so this is good stuff next I have a face powder powder this is from L'Oreal this is the infallible pro matte 16 hour wear face powder I think it has shine control does it yeah matte finish I thought it said shine control it doesn't um this is one of my favorite powders I use it as like a um, a setting powder pretty much. I'll put on my um, normal foundation and then I'll just take a big fluffy brush and swirl it in there and just kind of dab it on my face all over to set my foundation and it works really well for me. It's very long lasting. I do wish that they had one shade lighter though. This is the lightest shade in the shade 100 porcelain. I need like one shade lighter. <laughs> that would be great but um, it doesn't really oxidize. I don't know. It's just a really great powder if you're oily and looking for a good like long lasting powder that's not going to look cakey and gross this is a really good one next I have I'll save my candles for last how about that I only have three um next I have a lip balm that's also covered in dog hair great <laughs> this is by I showed this in a favorites video I think this is by the brand fresh this is the sugar caramel lip what is it sugar this is the fresh sugar lip caramel hydrating balm smells amazing um, mm, yeah, it smells good enough to eat. Like, I cleared this thing. Do you see that? I cleaned it out. I'm so proud. Um, they just released it in, like, this lip balm and, like, a bunch of other, like, flavors and s flavors, fragrances. Um, and I actually just bought the coconut one. Smells so good. And still the same thing. And it's still amazing. It's still completely overpriced. You still don't get enough product, but it's it's so good though. It's such a good lip balm. Next, I have a mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Um, it's got a I want to say plastic wand, rubber wand, rubber, rubber, um, with kind of those tough bristles, you know. I when this first came out, I really liked it, um, but I just. I have the mascara that I like from the drugstore, and it is what it is. And all of these, they're still great, but they will never be the drugstore mascara that I like, which is L'Oreal Lash Paradise and Maybelline Lash Sensational in the pink tube. 
it's just never gonna be that and it's half the price so probably wouldn't repurchase I think I bought this because it was on sale for like 10 or 11 dollars um, still really like it great mascara would definitely recommend it but there are drugstore alternatives so you just you don't need it next I have a ColourPop super shock shadow and the reason it's not completely empty but it's completely dry so I can't use it anymore um, this is in the shade super hardcore <laughs> that's funny um i like these shadows a lot sometimes they're kind of hard to work with but with this one i just i used a brush or my finger um and it was usually like my inner corner highlight or an all over lid shade for me um i used it a lot i really liked it it's more of a satin finish um i think it's discontinued though but these dry up so quickly to me um not all of them though so i don't know I don't know what's happening like why some and not the others just me though I don't know um I love ColourPop like love ColourPop so this is um sad to see this go but excited that I used it to the point that it dried up and hit pan so that's cool but I would repurchase it if it was still if it was still around next up I have an eye cream this is by the brand origins and this is called eye doctor very basic eye cream um this is just an eye cream that i use in the morning just i mean it's just super basic um i put it you know under my eyes a little bit kind of around the orbital area and um nice and hydrating it was very lightweight um i definitely would recommend this to someone who's like just getting into skincare um or who's really young you know if you don't have like that much going on or to worry about around your eyes then this is good I've repurchased this a couple times, I think, maybe two, this might be my second or third one. Um, I'm currently using something else, but I really like this. I didn't notice like a huge difference or anything, but my eyes were hydrated. My under eyes were hydrated. Next thing here I am getting rid of because it's just, it's too hard to use now because there's so little of it and I can't get to it with like, and it's getting old, so I'm just going to get rid of it. This is the Sally Hansen Double Duty Base and Top Coat. Uh, this is awesome because you can use it as a base coat and as a top coat and I like that I like multi-purpose items um, I've repurchased this several times and probably I don't know I think I will purchase repurchase it again um, but lately I've just been feeling like the whole nail polish color and then just a top coat and not worrying about a base coat but um, I don't know I really like this stuff though if you're looking for one that can do both so you don't have to have like five bottles of nail polish when you're doing your nails it's efficient I like it next up I have an eyeliner this is by L'Oreal this is the carbon black infallible 16 hour wear I don't know who's wearing eye eyeliner for uh, 16 hours but it's super, super black and dark and it twists up. I love that so I don't have to sharpen it. This is the perfect, like, waterline eyeliner to me. I've repurchased this several times. I'll probably go out and get another one. Well, I'm trying to finish up, like, I have, like, a sample of something now. But um, once I finish that up, unless I find something else I like better, I'll probably repurchase this one. Um, I think this is, yeah, carbon black. It's a good eyeliner. Lasts for a long time very black easy to use goes right on it's good next is a skin oh wait up oh, there it is see this mascara um the l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara you already know you already know it's a favorite i go through these the thing the thing about these though is they dry out really fast um they just yeah this is definitely a dupe i think for the Too faced uh, focus I think this is definitely a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And they didn't even try to pretend like it wasn't with like the color of the tube. Um, it's very similar. You get very thick voluminous lashes. Um, I really like it. It's one of my all-time favorite mascaras from the drugstore or just in general. And um, I will definitely continue to repurchase. Shh. Stop it, baby. Stop it. He's so itchy. He has allergies. He's so our baby. Next thing I have here is the Truth Serum by Ole Hendrickson. It is a base serum. I use this in the morning. Um, it says Collagen Boosted with Trucy Complex. It smells kind of citrusy. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to do, honestly. I think it's just supposed to like 
I mean, it's vitamin C, so like brighten your complexion and even skin tone, um, which I feel like it's done that for me. Yeah, it's kind of sticky and tacky when you apply it. Um, so I, I mean, I use it in the morning, then go over it with moisturizer and then do my makeup and have no issues. So um, yeah, I like this stuff. I would repurchase. Next, I have a perfume, and this is one of my scent birds. This is the Commodity Gold perfume. And I already repurchased, repurchased. I bought the full bottle. Oh, yes, yes. It's a unisex scent, um, which is really cool and different, I think. Um, and it's just, it's vanilla and musk or something. I know that the main note is vanilla. It's so sweet, but I actually smelled it and started liking it because my boyfriend wore it. He got, he, he was wearing it because we both do scent bird. It's like our thing and it's so fun. And he gets a scent bird and he got this one, like just as a random pick and he was wearing it and I was like, what is that? It smells so good on him. It smells masculine on him. But then when I wear it, it smells very feminine and like sweeter. I have no idea how that works. Um, but it's something we can both wear. It's so cool. Um, yeah, I just, I really like this perfume. And again, I bought the full size, um, during the VIB sale was like, that's the one that is the one. So I bought it and it's only, I, the only place I've seen it sold is Sephora, but they have a bunch of other fragrances that are unisex, um, that I definitely want to check out because it sounds really cool, but it's a cool brand, I think. But yeah, I really like this and I really like this perfume. The last couple things I have here, the last makeup items I have are three brow pencils. And the first one is the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. This is a dupe-ish of the Anastasia Brow Definer. So it has that, um, like that angled tip on it, just like the brow definer does. Um, it's okay. I just don't love the formula. I think it's like almost too creamy. Um, that it's just, it's kind of hard to work with. And I just, I've tried really hard to get into the, like, the angled tip, and I just, I just don't really like it. And I think it's more like, I'm bad at eyebrows, so it's, I think it's supposed to, it's designed to make it easier, but it did not make it easier for me. So, it's okay. I wouldn't repurchase, just because it's just not my thing. The next one I have here is, well, this is ironic, it's a, um, it's also kind of the same tip um, as the other one, as the Wet n Wild and the Brow Definer, but it's smaller. Um, and it's a little more like diamond shaped. So I think this is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. I didn't even try to hide it. This is in the shade Blonde. Um, this shade is a little too dark for me. It's almost a little more brunette than it is blonde. Um, it has that angle tip on it but it's smaller and it's more diamond and I feel like it's easier to work with. Um, the formula is a little more waxy or a little waxier. I don't love the spoolie on it. I wish that it was a little longer and a little thinner. So I feel like it'd be a little easier to work with, but um, for the price, I really like this. And this is actually something that I repurchased because I'm trying to get off of my Anastasia brow is, which is really hard to do. Um, but this is this is a really good alternative, I think. And I think once I I bought some Anastasia brow brow whizzes, brow whizzes, I bought a few um, when they were on sale at Ulta for like ten dollars each. Once I run out of those, I'll probably go back to this pencil until they go back on sale again. I'm just not gonna buy it for twenty dollars again. I just I can't do it. I go through too fast. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm in the shade Taupe. This is just a great color match for me, I think, that I like. Um, and I just feel like I have more control with it, and I just really like this. But I'll only buy it on sale or with a coupon, like a serious coupon. Okay, I have three candles, and then we're done. Um, so I have a Twisted Peppermint candle. This is, all three of these are from Bath and Body Works, of course. Um, this is from their winter, like, holiday collection. And Twisted Peppermint is Cool Peppermint Sugared Snow Vanilla Butter.